What's really good? Shofu in this bitch like Botox. Now today I got a battle against a dude named STL Ginger Ninja. Met him on the small gun Wi-Fi battle finder, but he's actually decent. He's not trash like the other two guys I battled off of there. So hope you guys enjoy this battle. Now this team I'm using, I just threw it together. I knew they would kind of work together, so I threw them together. But this isn't an actual team. They're just six Pokemon that I knew would have some type of synergy. So, you know, I threw them together. And I had to put my boy Conk Elder on the team. I haven't used him in forever. But every time I would see him on PO, I'd get nostalgia. So I decided to, uh, to use him on this team. And he actually did very well. So um, looking at that dude's team, I actually thought I was going to lose right off the bat. But I put in the fight. So he's going to bring in his Tyranitar. And I'm going to leave with my Rotom. Now, I was thinking about you uh, Volt switching out to my Scizor just so I can scare that Tyranitar off and uh, get off a U-turn on something. But he decides to stay in, and I decided to stay in. So I just went for the will just to get some residual damage on that Tyranitar and make it pretty much useless. Now, here I was thinking about Volt switching out to my Scizor now, but I thought that he might have Fire Blast and he might predict my Scizor to come in. So I stayed in and used will o -Wiz just in case he wanted to switch out. And he does actually end up going for the Fire Blast, so I'm glad I stayed in. So now that I know he has Fire Blast, I am not going to go out to my Sizzler. I'm actually going to go out to my Conk Elder now because my Conk Elder has some special defense EV. So I know I can take the Fire Blast and uh, I can probably scare that thing away with a Drain Punch. So I do Volt Switch out and go to my uh, Shofu. Gee, that's me. <laughs> but So um, he does miss the Fire Blast, so I don't have to worry about taking damage from that. Now here he makes a questionable play. Pretty suspect if you ask me. I do have my Conk Elder out in the field. I can Drain Punch and kill his Tyranitar easily. And he decides to switch out to his Heatran, which makes no sense. What I was predicting him to do, I was predicting him to switch out to his Slowbro, so I went out to my Scizor. Now, if he predicted my Scizor to come in like that, then he should have just used Fire Blast anyways because he has Fire Blast on his Tyranitar. But I don't I don't understand what he was predicting there because I, I could have just Drain Punched and d destroyed his Heatran just now. But if he truly did predict my scissor to come in, then, like I said, what can I say? I, there's nothing I can do about a prediction that complex. <laughs> anyway, so I bring my Tyranitar in this Heatran, pretty much the only thing I have to uh, switch into this Heatran, besides my Rotom. And uh, I don't want my Rotom to get burned or anything, so I had to bring in my Heatran, I mean my uh, Tyranitar. He goes for the Lava Plume, burns me, doesn't really matter because the only reason this Tyranitar is on this team is to set up uh, Stealth Rocks. So, um... He's going to kill me with a series of Earth Powers and some uh, Burn Residual Damage. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much the end of my Tyranitar. I'm down 6-5 right now. So I'm going to bring in my um, my Rotom now. And he's going to switch out, probably predicting my Volt Switch. He's going to switch into his Tyranitar. But I just decided to go for the Hydro Pump because he has two Pokemon that resist my water moves. Them being Rotom and Slowbro. Rotom can't really take Hydro Pumps well, even though it resists them and has good special defense because Rotom is just that strong. And Hydro Pump is just a strong stab move, so I wasn't worried about him switching into his Rotom. Also, wasn't worried about him switching into a Slowbro because Slowbro can't really take Hydro Pumps well either, even though it resists them. And even if he did switch in and take the Hydro Pump well, I, I do have the Volt Switch, so that uh, explains why I went for the Hydro Pump. So I just take out his Tyranitar with two Hydro Pumps, and now it's 5-5. Five, five. So he's going to switch into his Rotom now. Uh, Rotom is always a pain in the ass if you don't have a Celebi or a Gastrodon on your team. So I just decided to stay in and go for the Will-O-Wisp as he gets off a Hydro Pump on me. Seeing how much damage it did, I can tell that he's not Choice Specs. And seeing that he gets Leftovers right now, I can tell that he's not Choice Scarfed. So I'm not really scared of this thing. So um, right here he makes another questionable move. He's going to go for the Volt Switch. It's going to leave me with like 62 HP, so that thing is probably modest. So, um, you know, that's good. that's good information to know. But now he switches into a slow bro, which makes no fucking sense because I can Volt Switch out. I think he was... I, I, this is what I think w was going to happen right now. I think he was going to bring in his slow bro, predicting me to go for the Hydro Pump or something or the Will-O-Wisp. And then he was going to uh, predict me next turn to go for the Volt Switch and go to his Landorus. That's what I would have done if I was in his uh, situation. But I went straight for the Volt Switch, so I kind of ruined his plans if that w is what he was planning to do. So now I know I have a Slowbro trapped because a uh, Technician Boosted Pursuit would still kill from that range. And uh, if he switched out, it still would have killed anyway. So I had his, I had his Slowbro trapped. There's nothing he can do because I went for the Pursuit. So now he's going to bring in his Heatran. I'm going to go out to me because he has Lava Plume and not Fire Blast. So he's probably bulky and I know I can take a Lava Plume because I do have Special Defense EVs. Now here he goes for the will o -Wisp and he misses. That would have been good for me if he hit because I have Guts and I would have been able to sit on his team. But now it's time to shit on this team anyways, because I'm going to hit my LL Cool J. 
I'm gonna hit the gym, hit that creatine, and go for that bulk up. And since his um, Rotom is not uh, choice specs, I know I can live a Hydro Pump and then kill with a uh, uh, plus one Drain Punch. But here he makes another weird ass play. I don't understand what what is happening right now. He goes for the fucking Pain Split. <laughs> he went for Pain Split. Now, as he does get his HP back, he could have taken a shit ton off of me. But I, I don't I don't understand. He's just gonna die now from this Drain Punch after the Sandstorm damage. And I'm damn near at full HP, so that, that pain split really did nothing for you, buddy. <laughs> I would want for Hot to Pump if I were you. Or I don't know. I really I really don't know. Anyways, he's gonna bring in his Landris right now. And I'm gonna go for the payback. And I know I can live an earthquake and uh with at least half health because I do have plus one defense. And uh, I'm going to go for the payback. It's not going to kill, but it is going to do a huge amount of damage. Look at that. That did like 80%. Easy. So, because I do have plus one, I know a mock punch will be able to kill him from that range easily. Bow! Waka, waka, flaga, waka, waka, flaga. Damn, I just realized that I can't use guaka anymore. <laughs> anyway, so I do kill him with a mock punch. And uh, now he's going to send out his scissor. Right here, he should have went for the superpower. Actually, no, he shouldn't have because if he if he knew he he would live a drain punch, then a uh, bullet punch was actually the right move to go for. But um, right here, I would have went for superpower because superpower might have killed from the uh, from 180 HP like I was at. So I'm not sure if he made the good move there. But either way, I'm gonna get the drain punch off. He barely lives. I can't outspeed and hit him with a mock punch first because I'm slower. So um, I know I'm gonna have to just go for the drain punch again if I want to get some HP back and live this uh, sandstorm. But, um, I don't know. I guess he fucked up because my, my, my conk out is putting in work right now. So now I have no choice but to go for the mock punch because he's faster than me. And I know he's going to kill me with a lava plume. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go for the mock punch. Take about 70% off of that heat tran. He's going to go for the earth power. Oh, not lava plume, I guess. It doesn't really matter. He goes for the uh, earth power, takes me out. And my last resort to win this battle is actually my Rotom because my last, Pokemon, my last couple of Pokemon are... Skarmory, uh, Rotom, what else do I have in my party? Scizor, <laughs> and one other Pokemon, I don't know, I, I know I won 4-0. So basically, if I didn't hit this Hydro Pump right here, I lost the battle. That's that's how I'm looking at this. <laughs> but luckily for me, I do hit the Hydro Pump, and that is good game, STL, Ginger Ninja. He was a little bit better, but still not as satisfactory, especially since this was a random team. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, that was a good game. Just, I don't know. Leave a comment or something. <laughs> Bye.